Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting limited edition games unboxing where we take a look at something that has a very small run of a physical release of some kind of awesome video game. And today we are back for a video game from Limited Run Games. Not just one game, but two games, technically four games. If you watched last week, you realized I thought this was, that was something that this actually is. I checked my tracking and all that stuff to figure out what box is what. And I'm very excited for this. Um, I kind of became Twitter friends from Limited Run Doug and Limited Run Josh back at the last E3. Yeah, I know. And uh, <laughs> when they announced a whole bunch of Star Wars releases, and this is part of one of the first ones, and I'm so excited about it. And we'll talk more about that as we get in here. And um, yeah, so this is gonna be pretty cool. Now, Limited Run Games, every Friday, sometimes other days, but every Friday, they do some kind of limited release, usually of games for Nintendo Switch or PlayStation 4, but often they're doing things like NES cartridges, Game Boy carts, they even did like a Sega CD the other day, and they're getting out there, and it's pretty awesome, and I love what they do. Usually do standard editions and collector's editions, and I love that they put out a batch at 10 a.m. and 6 p.m., so if you miss the first time, you get a second chance at getting those awesome collector's editions, or if you just wanna sleep in and take the chance, you can do that as well. That said, I kind of said all that speech last week, so let's just get in here and let's look at this. I confirmed right before the video started, this was what I thought last week's box was, and I might have opened those slightly out of order, because I'm trying to open these from the order of the date they've been shipped to me, because I've gotten so far behind. I should have looked at when this one was shipped. I want to say this is like somewhere in December it was shipped. It might be early January. And one of these games, I already have gotten from Limited Run as well, but we'll talk more about that as we go through here. So let's move this out of the way. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, Nelly. Oh yeah. I'm so excited for Mercenary Kings. No, obviously we'll talk about that more in a minute. I'll show you all this stuff as we get in here. Now, obviously I did one of the PlayStation bundles. I'll explain that whole story, but look at this beautiful thing. Look at this beautiful thing, which again, we'll get everything out of here. Oh my God, I also have something very cool there, but I didn't want to see, oh, there's a lot of cool things there. I don't want to see that yet. So we have some limited run cards. I forgot that when you buy a bundle, you get some special things here. So we're gonna check that out. We'll check this out again. We'll, we'll look over everything. Ooh, sexy. Now granted, this is of all their Star Wars releases, this one does not look like the boxes the rest of, one, the rest of them have, but oh yeah. So of course we got nothing else in the box, so we can get this out of the way. And even if you just buy one single standard edition game, you will get a limited run card. Now, oftentimes um, you're gonna get silver foil around the side, but occasionally you'll get the rare gold foil one. But I think when you buy a bundle like this, you're guaranteed a gold or maybe guaranteed a full set. I don't remember exactly how that works, but uh, it'll tell you on the site. So let's see what we got for these lovely, lovely games. And we're gonna do a let's play on both of these and all that as well. And first up we have 493. Silver foil, Mando, nice. And then we have silver foil card 183 for Mercenary Kings, which yes, I do have this on the Switch. Um, I bought Mercenary Kings and Flint Hook was like a double pack and it was great and it's a great collector's edition and I'm looking forward to replaying some of this on the PlayStation. And we got, woo, we got the silver Mercenary Kings. I'm thinking you're guaranteed a full set and maybe at least one is gold is maybe how this works. I did not get that card before. That's really pretty. And we've got, ooh, oh, that's Transistor. Okay, I guess you get some random cards in there too in case you missed them, but I've been buying everything. So I think, I don't think I have that card though. That's pretty. And then we got us a gold foil. We got gold foil Boba Fett. Oh, Django Fett. Oh my God. Don't take away my nerd card. I was just excited. I was just excited. I do know the difference between Django and Boba and you know, um, Jin and all that. I know, I know what's up. I know, geez, oh my God, wow. Wow, Bo-Katan, you know, I mean, come on, come on, come on. Pre-Vizsla, Paz Vizsla, I mean, I know these things. They're just a slip of the tongue. But look, we got gold foil and of all of them to get gold foil on, that's the one I would have loved to have gold foil on. So awesome. And I played this game back when it came out. I wanna say PlayStation 2 is what I played on. I probably still have mine. All right, well, we're gonna do Bounty Hunter second. I know, I know. You can always fast forward if you wanna wait and then I'll get to the stories because I got stories to tell you about that. But let's go ahead and get into Mercenary Kings. Now, first and foremost, I'm just gonna show you this with the plastic on. I did not, I did, I'm not doing this, like, I'm not a flipper. I'm not a guy that buys these things to resell them or whatever. I mean, I might, you know, eventually hook up a friend or I might sell it for something one day or trade it. But really, I bought this bundle because I was freaking out over these things selling out. And there's a whole story that, um, basically, I've got two single versions of Bounty Hunter because we're gonna see another single version of this show up in a future unboxing. And it's because when I woke up at 10 trying to get these things, um, immediately the bundle that had all the Star Wars stuff in it sold out. 
And uh, I was like, well, I'm gonna get what I can then, and I did. And that first batch of Bounty Hunter Collector's Edition sold out. So then when it went 6 p.m. or whatever, or maybe that time, I also went ahead and ordered this bundle to make sure I got both versions of Bounty Hunter. Now, it was less important to get the single disc and the collector's edition for this as it was for the other Star Wars stuff that you'll see in the future. But, um, so that's what we're gonna do with Mercenary Kings. There will be a copy of this in here. We'll open that and show you. I'm just gonna set this aside and it's gonna be a wonderful gift for somebody someday, even if it's just a gift for me having some money. This is a pretty cool box, actually. Oh, I like that it's uh, kind of packaged like that. That's pretty neat. Ooh, we get a sweet steel book in here, too. And I do remember the Switch version had an awesome uh, flint hook. It was like double side. One side was Mercenary Kings, the other side was flint hook. You could put both cartridges inside it. It's probably one of their coolest, um, coolest, why am I just totally blanking on the word now? Steelbooks they had released. So we get the soundtrack, that's pretty fun. I think I already have that, but you know what? I do, but that's all right. We'll open it for purposes of this video. Why not? And that's what's inside there. Set that box to the side. And yes, we have a beautiful steel book. So here's the Mercenary Kings with the plastic on. Limited Run Games PlayStation release number 162. Okay, so it's 162 for PlayStation, but overall limited 274, number 274. Um, since I don't do a lot of the PlayStation buying from there, if anybody out there, um, can you explain that a little bit to me? Why do they have sec separate numbers? Is that because they've released like for other systems, because they don't include that into the Nintendo Switch numbers, I don't think, because the Nintendo Switch numbers are all their own numbers. You know, so they've been going from one upwards. All right, let's get this plastic off and see what we think about this. Give you a better look without all the reflections and reflectivity. Mercenary Kings Reloaded Edition. Yeah, this was pretty fun, what little of it I played, but we'll do some more playing of it in this video and hopefully have a real good time. Yeah, it's one to four players. Maybe to make this one different, don't hold me to this, but maybe I can get Mary to come join and, and do a little bit of this one. Oh, we get a nice reversible cover too, as well as a booklet. So there's the, the actual game disc. And let's pop this baby and see what it looks like in reverse. Not bad. I think I like the cover it comes with though. A little bit better myself. But I mean, it doesn't really matter because it's going in the steel book. The steel book of life. Did I get that in right? It looks, nope. The back I did not get in right. There we go. All right, we set that down. We're gonna take a look through the manual. This is a big, thick old manual. Oh, it's a comic. So I probably shouldn't show you the whole comic. I don't wanna spoil the whole story for you. But maybe you can pause on some of these pages if you wanna take a closer look. Neat, robot puppy. Oh, that just reminds me of some Dragon Ball Z I was watching today with Boo. Sad stuff, dark stuff. Dragon Ball Z got real dark near the end. But I like it. Yeah, I don't think I want to go too much further. I think half the comic book is probably good enough. Again, we don't want to show everything in here. I mean, I'll do a quick little boom like that for you. So there is that. And I know normally we would save these things till after the uh, Let's Play, but when we come back from the Let's Play, we're going to jump right into opening up Bounty Hunter. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the goodies here for Mercenary Kings. Or Mercenary Kinks, I guess. That would be fun. That's a, that's a completely different game for a different system. So uh, yeah, I think this is exactly the same as my uh, other soundtrack, so probably shouldn't have opened it, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't exactly know where that soundtrack is right now. Just a single sheet, nothing worth pulling out there. There's no art underneath, so there you go. That's what the original soundtrack looks like. And let's look at this. Oh, this is actually, I like this. I don't know if the art on the front of this is the same as the Switch version. Maybe we'll check when we come back from break, because I do know where the steelbook is. But I know the back is not the same because it was a reversible steel book. One side was Flint Hook, one side was uh, this game. So it might have the same front art, which is gorgeous, by the way. Like that it wraps around like that. Nice spine on it. But then, yeah, we get a lot of the characters and such on the back here. So that's really, really attractive. What does it look like on the inside? Show them, George. Okay. That's pretty cool. For a split second, I was like, well, where does the Switch cartridge go? I totally forgot what system I'm working with here. All right, so that is Mercenary Kings, but now let's do a Let's Play. Enjoy the game. Okay, I know it's really loud, but uh, let's get off the screen so you can actually hear me over the Resident Evil theme. We're here to do some, come on. Mercenary Kings Reloaded Edition. Uh, hey, everybody. I'm excited about these unboxings. I'm excited about getting to uh, Bounty Hunter. Uh, I've almost finished Resident Evil, though. I gotta finish Resident Evil before I get to Bounty Hunter, hopefully. It is 6.41 p.m., and the sun is bright through the window. And I have been 
made very aware of how dusty my laptop is. <laughs> I need to fix that. Anyways, I played this on the Switch. You can go watch my, uh, oh jeez. Oh jeez, that's really loud too. Um, you can watch me. Mercenary Damn. Geez. I just have to keep turning Resident Evil up. That's the problem, man, when I play Resident Evil. Anyways, um, you can play, watch me play this on the Switch. I was okay at it. We'll see if we do any better on the PlayStation. Obviously, graphically, it's probably about the same. How to play. Let's actually take a quick look at that. Really, you don't say. That's how you move? Okay. Jump. All right. Uh, fire. Melee. Roll. Reloading. Good enough. I've learned enough. I don't need to know anything else. Let's play the game. Because <laughs> I'm excited to go watch some Star Wars and then... Um... Oh, that dude's cool. Let's be that guy. And then uh, play some Kakarot and then... Uh... Play some... Actually, let's go with those colors. And uh, play some... He can be Caesar. That's fine. Uh, play some more Resident Evil. See if I finish it up tonight. Which would have been, you know... It'll be on my Patreon. And then eventually we'll come to my YouTube channel, but... The Mandrake Project. Scientists creating a bio-regenerating formula. That could change the world. Uh, the project laboratories are hidden away on Mandragoria Island. But something terrible has happened. I need to get that growl out of my voice. Claw has struck. My throat is dry, shit. Uh, they've kidnapped the chief. Uh, Dr. James Neal. There's a camera in the way. I'm having to lean around and look at it. Only you can get him back. Only you can get him back, you hear me? Code name Majestic. Code name Raja. It's not a code name. Code name Royal. Code name Empress. Code name King. And I'm code name not in the list. Apparently. Dope music, though. I don't remember. I think... Oh, I did get the soundtrack. I got the soundtrack with the Switch collection. Did I get the soundtrack with this, too? I don't remember. Probably. Okay. I'm just gonna let this play. I should probably drink some water from my throat. No, you know what I need for my throat? I need some wine. That's what... No, it's... <laughs> I've been drinking wine a little too early a lot lately, so let's uh, slow down on it today. Hmm. For someone who... Is, oh, we, we've only re recovered King and Empress. The Mandrake formula will save them. For somebody who practically was in stay-at-home mode already, I mean, it's interesting how much it has affected me the more it's been stay-at-home for real. <laughs> okay, I think we should be getting to the game here soon. One hopes. All right. We're dropping you on the island. And so, and you can stretch your, uh, report back camp to me at camp then, uh, we'll take the fight back to Claw. Next time, mercenary kings. Oh. King, you're about to touch down on Mandragoria Island. Why am I king? Oh, kings. You'll be landing in the hunting grounds. From there, find your way to the rest of us at Camp Crown. It's a training exercise to make sure you got your wits about you. We've left radio instructions along the way. Good luck. Okay. And what do I, how do I, ah. See the mini-map by pressing pad button. Your objective is marked by an X. You can move the map with right stick. I'm just gonna make it sound like Frieza. Destroy the crate to open it. Press down and pick up the items. You can only carry a limited number of supplies in your backpack. Oops, wrong thing. Nope. What's, wait, what's my shoot? Oh, I have to get off the things. C4, C4. Okay. Hold L1 and press a direction to equip an item from your backpack. C4, transceiver, okay. Uh, equip the C4, press square near the blast door to place it, and press again to detonate. All right. Oh, what? Uh, call Miss Zero to teleport. Oh, I put on, I did the transceiver, my bad. Uh, there we go. And step back. Oh, okay, yeah, I got you. 
And then I have to put my gun back on, okay. Oh, the little rabbit. Press zero to roll under obstacles and avoid attacks. Health. Yay, health. Shoot the piggy! Oh, it's reloading. Uh, collect as many materials as you can. They will allow you to craft gear and weapons. Oh, it's, that's right, it's a crafting game. Oops. Uh, equip your transceiver with L1. Press square up and down to select who you want to call. Shit, sorry. Uh, they'll bring you help as long as you have battery life. Use transceiver to call the golden gate. She'll send you C4 so you can destroy this fuel tank. Am I out of C4? Oh, still blowing up. Okay. Cool. Hey, we reached Camp Crown. I didn't actually mean to, but all right. That's enough of that game. No, I'm <laughs> I'll play some more. So there's all that stuff. Oh, a hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars total? I'll take that. Kings, welcome to Camp Crowd. This is our headquarters in the campaign against Baron and his claw miscreants. I've hired other freelancers to fill out the team and aid you in the mission. They're the best of the best. You've already met Dr. Bluebell. She'll use her knowledge of the formula to help you in the field. I've devised a couple of mandrake enhanced bionic modifications. Bring the right materials and I can upgrade you before missions. You already know Bobby, our treasure computer pilot, copper pilot, copter pilot. Uh, I know English. He will get you to the field once you've chosen your mission. Choppy and I are so happy you guys are okay. I can drop off stuff for you during missions. Miss Zero is our eye in the sky and communications specialist. She can help us find other mercenaries and decrypt enemy chatter. Greetings from space. I'll also be relaying map info to you guys from the boss, Big Orbital Satellite Station. Just go up to my friendly robot alley, ally, the Iron Prince, if you require my services. Cadillac is our man on under the ground. Using his camouflage and disguise skills, he fills out what to know about Claw, finds out. That's right, Big Hat. Come to me if you need to compare notes on Claw. I'm usually by the latrine. Uh, I will not remember all these voices per character, by the way, just letting you know now. Uh, these men are Waylon and Runjan. Uh, the Runaway Brothers set up this camp and keep it running smoothly. Oh, he <laughs> yeah, oh yes, <laughs> yeah, uh. We're like also about looking good, so don't hesitate. Yeah, like if you want to change of color in your life. <laughs> Finally, here's the Golden Gate. She's a supply specialist. Visit her to make sure you have everything you need before your missions. Hi, big fan of you guys. I can also hold on to extra stuff for you guys too if you need, just come by. Other experts have dropped in on the island. Your first mission will be to rendezvous with them. Whenever you're ready to go out in the field, come and see me and I'll send you on a mission. The world counts on you, a-hole. Hehehe, <laughs> what tripe, Tasker? Baron! My troops have already intercepted your so-called experts, Tasker. Haha. <laughs> How do you precious kings fight me with, without guns and blades? It's cruel of you to use Mandrake to give those fools a new life so I can take it from them anew. Haha. <laughs> with Mandrake, I'll usher a new age of war. Craft mighty armies. Humanity will cower before me, waiting for scraps like a dog from its master. You're heading straight to the dog pound, Baron. The dog pound in hell. I'll send you there first, Tasker, along with your other eye. <laughs> Kings, you heard that maniac. Report to me for your first mission. Go out and cut down Claw. Thank God, that's killing my throat. <laughs> uh, I just kind of want to do a mission. I really don't want to keep reading voices. Where is he? How do I get to him? He's like up here, if I remember. That's the latrine, boys. Yeah, let's just go. I got a list of all the available missions. Choose one and go talk to Bobby when you're ready. Yeah, uh, send more freelancers, I'm inside, okay. 
sweet, I guess. Are you sure you want to take the mission? Yeah, let's take the mission. Move out. I don't know what I do. Hey, Bobby, let's get going. You can count on Choppy and I to bring your safety to the location of your mission. Something like that. Set out on your mission? Sure. I know, I know what the mission is. Let's do it. I gotta rescue a hostage, apparently. I should have read what all that was. My bad. Toot toot toot, I am the robot. I will go in here, and there is no one. I am so lonely. Health is wonderful. Okay, now we will, oh hey, can I shoot up and shoot through? Yeah. Yeah, no, okay. Oh, it's bloody. I forgot it's bloody. Nope, oh, gotta go down. Nope, how do I? Ah! Oh, shit! Okay. That kind of bloody. Oh my. Oh, wow. I don't remember it being like that in the Switch version. Oh, reloading. Rechoding. Whatever that is, I'll take it. Ration. Oh, how am I? I, I? I do not have unlimited ammo, apparently, so I need to be careful with it. Ah. Alright. Okay, we got this. I can do this. Nice. Materials. Hmm. No, I can't get to it. Oh, shoot, shoot. Nope, shoot. I'm trying to shoot. Uh, how is... Oh, there's the map. Okay. And right stick. Where's my objective? All the way at the end? Okay, so we just keep moving. Moving in that direction, then. Oh, nope, gotta go down. Gotta go down to get up. Oh, come on, man. There's no diagonal shooting, man. I like that he's like calling it out. Oh. Oh, shh. Yeah. That's what you get. That's what you get for sticking me. I don't know if I want to go up or down. Good thing these guys are dumb. No one can outwit my robotic brain. I am the most brilliant robot. Everyone always tells me I am the smartest robot there is. They're always saying he's such an awesome robot. Oh, let me get that wood. Ha, this robot has wood. Um, don't want to go up, don't want to go down. Yeah, let's just keep working this. Oops. Let's keep working up. Jesus. I love it. I love it when their heads explode. I love exploding heads in the morning. Oh, oh, those guys can shoot diagonally. What the hell, man? What the hell, mans? Oh, shh. I didn't realize those were spikes. Okay, how are we doing? Nope, still need to keep moving forward. A little bit of platforming uh, goodness here. Okay. Blam, blam. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. How far back do I have to go? Where am I? Wait, where am I? Okay, I wanna go up the ladder. Okay, we're just back to here. I can live with that. Cause I figure I just wanted to complete this mission and that'll make good for the- Oh, I did not want to jump on the fuck. 
I was not trying to jump on the damn ladder, dude. What the crap, dude? Shoot. Reload that shit. Oh, come on now. Come on. Oh, j dodge. Oh, that's right. I think you can roll the dodge, too. I forgot about that. My bad. All right, so here's where I need to start moving downward. Somehow. Ow! Ha! <laughs> he screamed like a baby. Oh, can't angle down, huh? All right, fine. Hmm. Oh, no, I'm, I'm good. I need to go here. So the real question, oh. Okay. Oh, Jesus. That's how that works, huh? Just trying to get to the host. Oh, that water pushes back, does it? Oh, come on, come on, nope. Wait, am I? I'm still not to him, okay. Still got a distance here. Oh, no. All right, we got this, we got this. Oh, there's the hostage. Let's go save this lady. By shooting her. <laughs> so we did it. Back to camp. Okay, it takes me back automatically. You will make out with me now. I am a sexy robot. I am a sexy robot. All right, not bad. New mission unlocked. I think that shows you what this game is, right? I mean, there's crafting and that kind of stuff, but you get a sense of this. Yeah. Cool. It's fun. Hey, thanks for getting me out of there. I'm never dropping into a zone without my guns ever again. Kings, meet Lawless. As our gunsmith, she'll, craft, she'll be crafting the firepower you need to fight Claw. That's right. Just call me the Queen of Cannons, or Handgun Annie. Such a dedication to the ballistic arts. It warms my caffeinated heart. Your workshop is already here at camp, waiting for you, Lawless. Awesome. Stand back, because the Firearm Fairy is going to work her magic. Good work on getting Lawless back, but be ready to head back out. Our bladesmith, Ironside, is still out there in the jungle. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty good. And considering we have a really fun game to play next. Um, so, all right, let's uh, get back to that unboxing so we can start looking at the cool stuff. Uh, and I'll see you in a bit. Well, you'll see me immediately. You'll, there's so many versions of me in this video, I don't know what's going on. Oh my God, man, it's gonna explode, enjoy. All right, well, since I knew where that was, this is what the PlayStation one looks like, and it's very different than what the Switch one looked like. So that's cool. I like that it's alternate art, so very, very nice. But now, let's look at this. So again, I'm gonna have two copies of this that are gonna be shrink-wrapped, maybe go to friends. I don't know if Mary would like this. Mike might like a copy. Give him something to stream. So here is the Bounty Hunter cover. And again, we will take a better look at this without the plastic on it. I don't exactly remember what's in here. I think it's like it's, I think it's like a collector's coin, but I think there's a steel book. I think, again, don't hold me to that. I don't remember, this has been like close to a year, well, maybe not quite a year, but like seven or eight months since I ordered this. And again, I'm opening it later too. Don't keep, do keep that in mind that I'm behind on all this stuff. So it's not a complaint, you know, limited run. They need time to make the things. So that's pretty cool. And I like that it's a shiny metal blue. I didn't quite catch that before. Yeah, I'm not sure I ever completely finished this game, but I know I played real deep into it. You know what, did I play, maybe I played it on the GameCube because I'm kind of remembering the triggers on it felt really nice. So it's gonna be interesting to play it on PlayStation 4. It's not a remake or anything, it's, it's original. Slide that off and boom, numbered edition. 359 out of 3,000, that is awesome. I got a real low number. Now on these, I do kind of wish the numbers were printed on the box, but I get it. <gasps> that, that Django Fett pin is awesome. That's a gorgeous pin. All right, we got that in there. Ho, 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 that's the, that's the steel book. Now I don't know why this one, though, that, that was in plastic, this one's not. Oh, we got some art cards, we got a poster. We're gonna look at all that stuff. How do I get the coin out, though? 
Do I actually have to go like this to get at it? Jeez. Okay. And then it's like got the sticky glue. Okay. All right, we'll leave that like that for now. So you get this awesome Django Fett enamel pin. Probably need to put that on my jacket. That's really cool. Not a huge fan of coins, so I'm sorry, I hate to complain, but I, I do wish they had done some cooler, consistent collectible with these, because all the Star Wars games are basically getting collector coins, and I'm like, meh. But you know, it's fine, it is what it is. I'm more in it for the games and the steel books, anyways, and that's a really cool pin, so. All right, I'm gonna set that to the side. And let's look at some of this other stuff here. We do have a poster. Nice big old double-sided fold outer, folder outer, folder outerer, which you get the cover art basically on side one. I mean, I got a Django helmet, I got the Django blasters, I got the Django um, holsters for the blasters, but I've never been skinny enough to want to put the time or money into a <laughs> full-on set of Mando armor. I'm getting there though. All that Zumba's paying off. I'm gonna stop drinking so much wine and eating so much uh, Chinese food, I'll be fine. All right, <laughs> TMI, TMI. All right, here's these art cards. I guess I need to save something for later, but I know what to save for later. So that's pretty cool. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, we uh, obviously are gonna take a closer look at that steel book after the Let's Play, but now we can actually check out the game. And of course you can get this game on PlayStation. You know, you just physically, I think you're out of luck at this point without going to secondary market or getting in on one of those uh, blind game, blind bag games, blind box games, however they call them. They have occasionally limited run will do a blind games thing where you can get something and you don't know exactly what it's gonna be. So I think that's pretty cool of them. Let the hunt begin. And this is limited run games number 273 or for the PlayStation 161. And now I'm kind of curious. Yeah, okay, so this came right before Mercenary Kings. And no reversible art, but we do get a nice disc. And not a whole lot in this manual, but we will look at the steelbook and the manual after we play the game. Let's do it. So we are going to do a full Let's Play, um, hopefully, unless I totally suck at it, of Star Wars Bounty Hunter. This is a limited run games edition. And hello, limited run games people. We're gonna cut some of the beginning of this into my unboxing. But then I'm gonna play longer than will be in the unboxing video and this probably come, I think this is gonna come to Patreon first and once I've played the whole game, then I'll release it on my main channel. I don't exactly know, but welcome everybody right now. Patreon, YouTube, Limited Run Games unboxing video. <laughs> this is gonna be an all three. And as we go along, we'll figure it out. So I believe I had this on uh, GameCube is what I originally played it on and I'm not sure I ever finished it. But what better time with Star Wars The Clone Wars that's hopefully st still airing by the time this comes out. Mandalorian Season 2 coming this year. Are we getting like a trailer at the beginning? This is pretty dope. Wait a minute. That reminds me... Oh, did you... That one shot the dude walking in the desert. Are they doing that in the... In the Mandalorian? Remember that post thing? I don't, I, I'm, I'm being vague. I'm vaguing it. I'll try not to spoil things. I was hoping this was going to be a bit of a remaster. Uh, obviously, it's not. It is definitely the PS2 version. I guess they're waiting on me to hit the start button or hit A button because it is showing me a lot of the game. So let's get in here and uh, see what we think. So if you want to check out my Patreon, it's a dollar a month. No pressure. But we do lots of game Let's Plays over there, movie reviews, Star Wars commentaries. And, uh, you know, some games stay exclusive. Some games are timed exclusives that eventually come to my YouTube channel. Oh, this is Star Wars. I got to do it for everybody. So, you know, just in certain stages. But we are doing the limited run games unboxing right here. And should I, hold on, should I go ahead and blow that up a little bit for y'all? Make that a little bit more full screen, sure. All right, I'm trying to hit start. Oh, hit X, okay. Yeah, it's totally still the PS2 version. I wish I got it for PS2. My PS2's hooked up over here, but. Um, but do you want to create save games? Yes, we do. Save successful, all right. No save game data, what? Okay, this is weird. All right, so let's check the options real quick. Code setups, credits restore defaults. All right, that's all normal stuff. Oh, triangle is back, okay. Uh, game stats, bonus items. Just curious, what bonus items? Oh, the dark horse, because I assume everything is unlocked and opened. Or, well, maybe not unlocked, but um, on the limited run games version, the physical edition. 
I believe you can get this digitally. Oh, outtakes, that's kind of cool. All right, let's back out and let's get this party started. And I will sip some wine a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Oh my God, it's Star Wars. Holy sh Nikes, I am a happy man. I probably shouldn't sip wine here because I'm wondering if I can get um, copy blocked or right claimed or whatnot uh, over this. So, and you know what, screw it, I'm gonna have some wine. Mmm. Tonight I'm having a little Pinot Noir. Uh, like, what is this one? Uh, Love Broke or something? I forget what this is. Love Book? Love Brook? Bounty Hunter. The Galactic Republic is in peril. In the aftermath of the Battle of Naboo, disorder and corruption run rampant throughout the galaxy. Seizing upon this chaos is a mysterious and deadly cult known as the Bandogora, whose vicious attacks have nearby nearly crippled the galaxy's most powerful industries. Darth Sidious, recognizing this development as a threat to his own sinister plan, has summoned his new apprentice to discuss the matter. Oh my god, he has a new new apprentice? Spoilers for Attack of the Clones. It's a much older film than it has any right being. Uh, <laughs> also, uh, I kind of hate that this is like 4x3 letterbox. I wish this could be widescreen, but it is what it is. It should still be a fun game. I would like all these games to have updates and upgrades, but that's just me. Uh, I was about to wonder like why I couldn't limit and run games since they're making like NES versions of the NES games and such and Sega CD games and all that. Why we couldn't have a PS2 release of this, but I guess manufacturing PS2 is a bit more complicated, so I'll cut them some slack. There's the Solar Sailor. I forget what his ship was called, but I know obviously it's working on solar sail technology there a little bit. And um, yeah, I guess this came out, yeah, yeah, this came out after Attack of the Clones. It had to have come out after Attack of the Clones. Master? Ooh, is that actually your Christopher Lee? An urgent matter has arisen that must interrupt your training. The Bando Gore has become a dangerous parasite. It must be eradicated. There are... I believe you once had the opportunity to eliminate its leader. Why did Definitely. you not take it? Some, uh, an experiment. Graphical experiment issues. The experiment has failed. This deranged form of Jedi has no place in my vision for the future. Wow. I All expect right. you to correct this error. As you wish. And what of your plan for the clone army? I don't think that's actually Our Christopher Lee. Our require a host. Or you Ian must McDermott. find an ideal specimen. Perhaps among the galaxy's most dangerous oh, mercenaries. Oh, right, right, right. I right, shall right, accomplish okay. both of these tasks with a single stroke, Master. Maybe it is. Yes. I don't know. Yes. I look forward to completing your training, my friend. I mean, it's pretty good voice work, though. But it is interesting, even though it's optimized for a PS4, I guess it's really, you know, it's not, it's still not gonna play, because there were some weird, like, color RGB glitchings going on. This looks a little bit more Star Trek to me, but that's fine. What a contest! I guess this it's something you can see in the Clone Wars. Outland Station hasn't seen a oh, yeah, 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 it's coming back to me. Nostalgia is kicking in. The has proven to be a I think the volume's job. good. Yeah. Yeah. Its owner must be Whoever he is. I don't know. Maybe I should turn it up a little bit more. Champion, its match Let's tweak that up a hair a bit more. Jangle, where are you? Oh my god, a female Watto. Uh, a champion <laughs> is in trouble. Oh, Ouchie. Oh. And of course the Patreon videos will be about an hour long, but we're only gonna do 20, 30 minutes here for uh Oh I like how it's the music from uh the Sarlacc pit. Sort of. Oh it, no, it's totally the music from the Return of the Jedi Sarlacc Pit. Nope. It's kinda edited, okay. No oh, superhero landing! Dead or alive, Miko. He's holding a remote! That might be tomorrow, Morrison. And there goes the jetpack. Because they don't want me to learn it yet. You want me? You want a wonga? You gotta go through him first. Sleevo. Alright. Please tutorial me. Tutorial me. Because I don't remember how the buttons work. And I did not play it on the PlayStation 2. I played it on the GameCube. Okay. Chapter 1. Dead or Alive, Miko. You're coming with me. Pit Fight Arena. Smugglers, pirates, and mercenaries, and fugitives. Oh my. From across the galaxy, take refuge at Outland Station. 
a seedy interstellar spaceport far from the scrutiny of authorities. Station owner Rosetta, an eccentric Tidorier, ah, entertains, ah, I got hung up on the word, I couldn't read it all. Tidorian, sorry, Jesus. Jeebus. Oh, actually, you know what? The gameplay stuff looks way better. Well, I say that. Uh, okay, press square button to fire. Hold R1 to lock on enemies. R1, I don't like that. Oh. Get up, get up, Django. Why can't... I am blasting it. We're just gonna, oh, nope. Oh, that's a jump, okay. Why, uh-oh. Oh, I turned to darts, when did I turn to darts? Oh, I see, okay. All right, circle is changing my weaponry. Okay, you have to hold down on the darts. Scouter doesn't do anything, I can punch. I'll just keep shooting this fool. X is jump, what is triangle? Triangle is not really doing anything for me. Okay, L2 is the dodge and roll. Oh, I changed my stuff on me again, didn't I? L1 doesn't seem to do much yet. That might be jetpack related. Let me shoot him in his butt. Yeah, got the butt shot. Oh, he's doing the thing again. Why do I feel like I'm not really doing much here? Our stick isn't really doing anything at the moment. Oh, no, I got him. Okay, our stick is gonna control camera. That's cool. Except it zooms, it doesn't tilt. Hey, there's Django's butt. Cool. All right, let me just put it. Okay, so X is jump. Circle is definitely sliding through all my stuff. Triangle's not doing anything yet. Square even, rapid fires. Oh. All right, holding down L2 squats me when I'm standing still. Or rolls me, okay. L1 doesn't do much yet. That locks on enemies. And then R1 is gonna be, okay, it's gonna be targeted fire, okay. All right, I got a handle on this now, except what am I doing? Hello? Game? Oh, I guess I leave, okay. Okay, next launches me over walls. Oh, cutting torch, nice. So nice, I cut it twice, except I didn't. Oof, camera controls are a little wonky. Well, I don't really have camera controls. The camera move is a little wonky. Hey, health, I guess. Yeah. And I got a Shadows of the Empire style button, let's do it. Can't wait to be playing Shadows of the Empire. That'll be another game we'll try to 100%. Or, you know, at least play the whole story, not necessarily 100%. I guess I go back out here and get whatever I just set up. Ah, and now I can jump. Well, you know what? Hold on. There might, there's some, probably some things hiding around. No. No, Django. Bad Django. Here we go. Yeah. Health that I don't need. Wah, 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 wah. Some of that pod racer coupler technology. Okay. Going down the hole. Oh, Jesus. That took a huge hit of my health. Why did it do that? There was something about press down to do things, and I should have... Wait, no. Where was... Oh. I don't know why I want to shoot those little things, but I do. Little dirty rats. Nice. Oh, there's more, but I don't care. You get to live, little one. Maybe. Are you coming at me, bro? You gonna come at me? You gonna come at Jangle Fett? Don't you know who I am? I'm the man that just shot you in the face. Ugh, the way the camera, like, whips around on me is annoying. Um, am I supposed to do something here? I sure ain't getting it. Maybe I, oh. Nope. Hold down to, oh, I put my guns away. 
Okay, I'm missing something. Maybe I needed to go the other way. Maybe the, oh wait, here we go, here we go. L2 to crouch. And cutting torch, okay. I don't really remember this. And I can't see around him. We want to torch through here. Yeah, but before I go that way, is there anything hiding here? It looks like there's more. Oh, nope, there's not. Okay. Nope, all right. Just, uh... What the crap? Okay. And press forward to climb. And then what? Because that's... Oh, what? Hold on, what does that say? I got... It said something and now I can't see it. Oh, I feel like, am I supposed to... Ugh, this camera control. Aha! Okay. So we got some ledge work. Nope. Okay, it told me how to get behind me and I did not pay attention. Because I'm good at games. <laughs> Ninja would love me! Uh, press X jumping, jump button to jump and grab edge behind you. Oh, I guess because I used my stick, I screwed that up. Like something just buzzed on my watch. Oh, M M Mary's home. Oh. Oh, she's took some stuff to a friend to sell. Mary, I love her, but she's got to get better on her social distancing. Like that can wait. Oh, she. Like I know we're moving into a house and stuff, and it's gonna get crazy. But I mean, there's some things that can wait. It's our buddy, Deb. Still, and I know Deb's like super clean, but still, I mean, come on. Come on, lady. Django, some of Miko's fucks have decent prices on their heads, too. I'll transmit the info to your ID scanner. Probably should have told you all that. <laughs> uh, equip ID scanner. Uh, hold R2, press square to mark bounty. Oh, I forgot about this. Bind with whipcord, claim with triangle. I forgot this was a whole element. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So, quick ID scanner. Hold R2. Mark bounty. My. Too close. Too far. And claim. Woohoo! I teleported him somewhere. Cool. Back to my guns. I have the holsters in these blasters toys. I feel, I, come on, let me look this way. There's, there's stuff there. Jeez, game. Hello, droid. Are you a bounty? I gotta move, hold on, what, what button? That button. No bounty posted, all right. Is it something I should shoot? Do I need to shoot the droid? No, it's not locking him on as a target. Well, let's see what's back here before we go the way I'm probably supposed to. Not a thing. I'm so used to like Resident Evil games and stuff where stuff will be hidden. Oh, that camera is hard to work with. I, the camera also goes, it's inverted. Oh, that's no good. Hold on. Are any of these guys bounties? No bounties posted. Well, I guess it's shooting time then, huh? Die, all you people that I had no reason to shoot, I don't think. I mean, probably did have a reason, but I just shot you in cold blood because I'm a bounty hunter. Yeah, this game is still awesome. I mean, the camera sucks, but... <laughs> but I'm digging it. Later go up the hall. You're near the pit fighters training area. Brush up on your technique if you like. Not that you need to. You know what would be awesome is that that was Maz. Like before she knew Django maybe wasn't the best bloke. Oh, there's people over that way. Oh, we got a thing. I don't know what those things are. So let's see if this dope out here has a freaking bounty on him. Am I not? No bounty. Oh, jeez, I just blew him all the hell and back. 
So things are splody over here. Okay, good to know. Maybe. Why can't, is there anything to be done? What's the button I hold? That's the button I hold. Oh, hi. Oh my God, we got Gamorians. Okay, the blasting feels pretty good though. Not gonna lie. And those death animations are kind of adorable. All right, what are we doing now? We're having weird camera issues that are making me weird. Do I need to like care about everybody being bounties? I wish there was like, I didn't have to cycle through so much stuff to do it. Cause then I could check everybody easily. And the further away they are, the uh, less effective the blasters are. They do seem to, oh, hi. You're a dead man. You just took a shot at Boba, uh, Boba, Boba, Django Fett. Oh my God, look at my health though. When did I get hit? Was it the explosion? What you got back here? Use some of that health I lost. Oh, hi! Oh my god! Transdarian, trans, transdarian, transdar, whatever the hell. Oh, jeez! Oh, I guess some of them are shooting back at me. What? Why? Why would the cam... Ugh, the camera being... Okay, you know what? Hold on a second. Let me... Can, can we... Oh, good. Pause doesn't do anything. Options? Nope, nope. Oh, nope, that's broad. That's sharing. No, I have no kind of menu to get to. Oh, there it is. Uh, no, I don't want to do any of those things. I wanted to look at settings. Oh, well, at least we get mission objectives. Okay. All right, we'll go a little bit. We'll, we'll go a little bit further for the uh, unboxing people, and then of course we'll continue for everybody else because that's how I roll. I'm nice like that. Uh, so we wait. We can't. I've lost my bearings. Where did we come from? Oh. oh. I can no longer see what I'm doing. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, he almost got me with his ax, man. All right, music's over, battle's done. And there's health, but nowhere to go. Don't you close on me. Huh. Oh, wait, I haven't checked here. Is that a door? No, what is that? Oh, it's nothing. Oh, you know what? Can I laser torch? No. She didn't tell me to like scan stuff, but maybe I can. Oh, I forgot I can zoom. Wow, I haven't learned that yet, I suppose, but okay. Well, I'm clearly missing something at the moment. Those don't open. I know we came over here, it's just more lockers. Yeah. And like, this is where we came in from. I hear things. Oh, am I supposed to like jump these poles? Yeah, I bet that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Oh God, the inverse camera is a pain in my butt. Oh, come on. Get there, Django. Let me get you unchained, homie. All right. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. What is that? That's health. I'm full health. I'm not worried about it. Okay. Gonna make that jump? Oh, barely, but I did it. You're dead. Oh, there's blasters. Oh, there's lots of blasters. Just keep moving. Don't dodge off the table. Did I get him? Got him. I'm good. Oh, I don't know if I want to go up there yet. Oh, here's a thing. Oh, there's 
stuff down here. Can I aim at those things yet? Can I take them out while I'm up here? Apparently I can. Hopefully they don't respawn. Sorry if you're innocent, but I don't know. I'm, I'm a man on a mission. A man on a mission looking for nutrition. I mean, I'm sure it's just health, right? It's not like, yeah, it's not power up. So well, apparently I needed a touch of health. Somersault! Somersault! <laughs> Where's the cartwheel button? Oh, really? Just health? That's it? Oh, let me shoot. Let me shoot anything. Boring. So yeah, I was on the right track. Is this my? Yeah. Do I just want to drop down? It seems rather dangerous to drop from that height. All right, cool. I can get back up there if I need to. Let's see if I can go back. Nope, nothing here. All right, well, we'll just not walk over the obvious trap door. All right, ah, no Django, bad Django. All right. How we do it? 24, all right. No, nothing to, nothing to sneeze at. Uh-oh, am I supposed to be? Hold on, is there, oh God. No, nowhere to go up. Well, perhaps I'm supposed to go in the obvious uh, trapdoor elevator. I guess it's an elevator. No, okay, what have I done here? Huh. Uh, defeat the Borhook, escape the beast pit, find a way out of the arena, and hunt Miko. We have a lot to do. Um, okay. Can I go back up there now? See, now I can't get back up there, so hopefully I'm supposed to come this way? But, what? Oh, I didn't see the, uh, aha. Okay. Whee! Oh, I hear people shooting. Are they shooting at me? Oh, there's target practice going on down here. Stop. Don't turn around. Whoa. Ah, the camera is driving me nuts. Yeah. I'll show you how target practice works, losers. That's how a Mando shoots. <laughs> I probably shouldn't do that. No, why don't you just come out here and reset them targets? What's the matter, McFly, you chicken? All right, let's be cool, here we go. Somersault! Oh, I can't somersault. Nothing's locking on. Why is nothing locking on? Man, what are you guys, stormtroopers? You can't hit shit. You ain't even got helmets on. You're just bad shots. No wonder I took out all your targets and you couldn't take mine. Losers. What did you say about poo-poo? Oh, I see you hiding around the doorway. You must have got a shot in on me then, huh? Those doors open? Nope, I think I saw a secret passageway. I did, I did, I did see a secret passageway, but how do I get to it? Because Django don't want to party here. Huh. Oh, there's like a thing up there. How do I get to it? Oh, I have an idea. Okay, maybe we just need to... Is there a button to press? What? Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh. Oh, okay. Hang on. I know what to do. Just wish the camera wasn't such ass. 
Oops. <laughs> Here I was talking about how bad a shot they are. Look at me. Oh, I got a cool blaster. One I didn't need. Now I got a thing. Um, I feel like... Can I, like, grapple over there? Am I actually just able to make that jump? I don't like it. Oh, yep, got it. I have been so excited for this game, y'all. And other than that one camera issue, it is not disappointing. Aha. That's a weird sound. That's a sound. Okay. Well, I tell you what, I think Obviously, we're about to go into a big old battle here, so I gotta, I gotta do what I gotta do, you know what I'm saying? I think that gives you a pretty good idea in the unboxing video, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and say, send it back to the handsome Eric doing the unboxing. All right, well, I know that's gonna be fun, and because I forgot to mention it, I do do Let's Plays and movie reviews over on my Patreon channel. Right now, I'm putting out five videos a week, and you can get all of that for as little as a dollar a month if you want to check that out, because I'm probably going to play the crap out of this game over there at some point. I might do it on my regular YouTube channel, but probably not. It's probably going to be a Patreon thing. I've just been playing a lot of Kakarot right now. But um, yeah, so hope I know that was cool. I know Mercenary Kings was cool. This is going to be a really good time. I'm looking forward to actually playing these games. Whoops, let me intervene. Um, here was the booklet I uh, totally forgot to show you. Exciting, huh? Okay, <laughs> back to the unboxing. But let me know what you all think about it. How do you feel these collector's editions turned out? How, what kind of luck or not luck did you have with these? Because I know these were a little bit trickier to get, hence why I had to order so many copies of Bounty Hunter. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Geek out with me in the comments below. I definitely look forward to hearing what you have to say. Other than that, you can click that thumbs up button. Give me that good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. And uh, check out my Patreon by looking up The Eric Butts or using the links in the description below. And now I'm going to get out of here so I can go play some games and open up some more stuff. I'll see you all later.